May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and we've been bringing you a wide variety of stories focusing on reducing the stigma surrounding it and what's being done to improve access in Minnesota. Our Derek James shows us how one health care system is bringing in mental health experts to answer concerns during regular clinic visits. Even before the pandemic, year after year, we were seeing more and more kids, 10% every year, kids seeking care in our emergency room asking for mental health services. This has been the first year where we've seen a 30% increase. As the mental health crisis worsens in Minnesota, the shortage of mental health workers is taking an especially heavy toll on kids. That really is about a suicide attempt or suicide thoughts. Preventing those outcomes requires earlier intervention, which can be hard to find. Oftentimes in the community can be months. That led Children's Minnesota to expand their integrated behavioral health program into all nine primary care clinics this year. We really now have somebody on the front lines that can step in to help intervene. Now, if there are mental health concerns brought up during a child's pediatric visit, mental health experts can respond in real time, ending often long waits. We can get that um, behavioral health service started almost right away. The program provides short-term therapy at the primary clinic for kids and families of five to 10 sessions, focusing on symptom relief, including coping skills. If a child needs additional help, the behavior specialist assists in finding that care. The pediatricians work hand in hand with the specialist. Looking for depression, looking for behavior concerns, looking for anxiety, and sometimes that's the first time that parents have ever had that discussion with their child. And so it, it starts the conversation. A conversation that more families need to have. The 2022 Minnesota Student Survey found school-aged kids are experiencing more mental health issues than at any other time. 29% of students reported long-term mental health problems, those lasting six months or more. It's a 6% jump from the 2019 survey and an 11% increase compared to 2016. 80 now. Knowing how teens are doing oh, requires crazy. communication wow. and closely monitoring day-to-day -day behavior. Have you seen any changes with their behavior? Are they not sleeping? Are they not eating? Do they seem withdrawn? All of those things are really at a point where you, you need to seek help. And then don't be afraid to ask for help. That's really the most important thing. A few other options for dealing with mental health caregiver shortages include telehealth meetings and then also checking if there are any providers that are linked to your child's school. We were talking a second ago about just how difficult it can be to find one of these professionals. What were some of the wait times that families mm -hmm. are experiencing? Dr. Erickson told us that it can be at times for this specialty, especially when we're talking about mental health and children and pediatrics, four to six months or even longer. And then, of course, you have those folks that are saying, we can't take any new clients right mm -hmm. now. So it becomes really difficult. And what they were finding is that they would refer someone and there would be no follow up because what they do is they make that initial call, find out how long the wait is. Yeah. And they just say, well, you know what, forget it. And then it becomes forgotten. And what might seem to be a small issue mm -hmm. then snowballs into something more serious. Yeah. I mean, it's it's tough too because at some point you have to address, address the root of the problem, which is that maybe not enough providers. I mean, it seems like that has to be part of the equation too. Yeah, and obviously for them, having someone on staff is a great thing to be able to do. But you're right; you still need to have once someone needs a bigger, uh, you know, needs more help. Who's there that can mm -hmm. take them, you know, further on after that initial five to ten meetings? If someone needs that long-term serious care, there aren't a lot of options. Yeah. This is a start, though. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Derek.